Hello again, viewers. We're at the Elena Apartments in Porto do Carmen. These apartments are in a brilliant location, location A. Watch till the end, I'll show you exactly how close to the promenade they are. I just met a lovely couple from Essex who are staying here. They said they love it, they've stayed here quite a few times. They said the bar's great, the barman is a great guy as well, they said. Um, this is a trip down memory lane for me. I stayed here with my family about 20 years ago. I remember the apartments were perfectly fine. Can't remember, I don't think the pool's heated, so the pool might be a wee bit cold in the winter. Maybe the guys from Essex can give a wee comment and let me know what the pool's like. I've not checked it out, guys. I'm too scared to test it in case I fall in. Um, nice wee pool bar here. Nice complex. Um, as, it's, as it is with most of the ones in Porto del Carmen. Um, low rise. Pretty good for mobility, the looks of it. And I'm just going to show you outside exactly where it's located. Let me just straighten the gimbal a wee bit. Okay. So let's head out. That's the reception there. I almost stayed in here. I've seen a deal. Um, for them, but by the time I was considering booking them, it was too late. You could argue they're a better location than where I'm staying, the single plazas, because you avoid the hills. They're a, they're a flatter location. If you go down to the left, Betty Boop's karaoke bar, they do drag shows in there. I've done another video showing you that because I've came from the Lands of Player, which is just up there as well. Again, really good location, the Lands of Player. Now, here's a wee tip that the guys from Essex gave me. Thanks, guys, especially during the day. To go into the main promenade, there's a couple of ways you can go. Now, I think when I stayed here 20 years ago, I just walked up there, up the hill, and then turned left in the promenade. But the guys from Essex cleverly pointed out that if you've got any mobility issues, or if you've got a wheelchair or a mobility scooter, you can actually cut right across this wee centre here. So, I think you go up that way, and then down the stairs. Or you go straight through there. Actually, you just go straight through there, and I think you can, there's a wee bit you can go down. So you can avoid it, but if you've not got any issues, then you can see, you can easily just walk up here and go left. So I'm going to just show you how close these apartments are to the promenade. You will not believe how close they are. Um, I couldn't remember last time I stayed there how close they were. I remember they were quite close, and they're closer than I even remembered. So mid-range price, they're not the absolute cheapest and they're not really expensive, they're kind of mid-range. Star bar up there as well. A couple of wee restaurants here also. Supermarket right on your doorstep. Another Indians, there's so many Indians and Chinese here, it's unbelievable. Taj Mahal, let me know if you've been in it, would you recommend it? The Chow Mein restaurant, it's quite busy, I've seen um, a lot of people in here earlier on. So that's the Chow Mein restaurant. Now, have you noticed, viewers, we are on the promenade, how good is the location of those apartments? The Elena apartments, absolutely brilliant. So you're close to many shops, bars and restaurants. My apartment in the Cinco Plazas is down to the left and up the hill. I could argue this location is maybe better. It's bang in the middle of the strip, the promenade. So I would go right down towards the Old Town. It's a good walk down to the Old Town for you. Maybe 25 minutes, I say, 20 minutes, maybe more. Depends how fast you walk. Check out the sunset, yours. The sun's just about to go down beautifully. And then if you're staying in Elena. Hey up. Oh, hi, Rory. You alright? Yeah. Are you the man that's bought an eye internet yet? You're the thinking man, right? So you've been watching you all over the internet for fucking months. You was in Tenerife yesterday. That's right. I, I, I've still got videos going out from Tenerife, yes. Um, so I'm in Lanzarote for a week. I've been you here know, a few it's a days. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, lovely to meet you guys. Don't, don't put hey. me on your film. Ah, uh, uh, so, uh, sorry. <laughs> Pointing the camera this way, really. We, we only arrived early on. We've had a couple of beers, you know, as yeah. you do when you. Oh, well, you're on holiday. You leave your case and just go straight out. Yeah. Well, where, where, where are you guys from? Um, Stoke. 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 Okay. Ah. So you, you enjoying Porto do Carmen? Oh yeah. yeah. We've come about four years ago to yeah. Costa Gis. We just come down here for the day, like. I said it's so nice here. Yeah, it's lovely here, isn't it? And Jean said to me about five weeks ago, I'm going to be coughing this hand. I yeah. said, get on the internet. I said, let's go get to the alcohol for a week. Can't so complain. I've got to so ask you, yeah. you always, always tell people, where can we get the cheapest beer? Oh, right, okay. And, and, the, best steak. <laughs> and the best steak. And the best steak, yes. Well, the, 
the cheapest beer you'll get in this trip that I've found is a Euro 50. Yeah. Uh, there's a few bars up there doing it, and then if you go right to the top, there's Spoons Bar that does it only to 6 o'clock at night. There's another place called El... I think it's called El Kiasco. You, it's very busy. It depends where you're staying. Are you staying up that way? Yeah, yeah, right yeah. up there. Yeah, okay. So if you just keep walking, it, it's on this strip. It's called El Kiasco. I think it's €1.50 for a large beer. All the other drinks are pretty cheap as well. Um, steaks, I'm not sure of yet. I've not had a steak yet. I did Indians last night. <laughs> Uh, so I can't, I can't tell you. Pleasure to meet you. Yeah, you oh. keep at it, Marissa. Lovely I'm to meet always, you guys. I'm always there. What, what's, what's your names? Uh, Jane and Carl. Okay, Jane and Carl. Lovely meeting you. And you, don't, darling. Don't, don't. Uh, Just keep <laughs> at it. Only, keep only when I'm walking away. Uh, no worries. Take care, guys. Thank you. See you later. I said to her, I said, that's that lad. You've been watching See you later, guys. <laughs> bye bye. Lovely to meet you guys. Absolute pleasure. Thanks for watching the videos. It's I know viewers like it's a bit confusing. I'm in Tenerife one day and then somewhere else the next day. It does get a bit confusing. So I told you it was a good location, Elena. Um, lovely to meet you guys. You're from Stoke. That's O'Reilly's, a very good sports bar, loads of TVs. They do food as well. The, some of these bars are open a wee bit later at night, but most of the bars in this strip shut at midnight. You'll be amazed how quiet it is walking down here at one o'clock in the morning. Pints two euros fifty here. Cocktails five euros. It's not too bad, is it, girls? Can't complain. Obviously, all these bars are showing all the World Cup games, as you'd expect. A couple of wee kids' games, arcades and stuff in there as well. The guys are heading up to find the cheap beers, maybe that I recommended. Check out the Gypsy Souls on YouTube. Um, they've done a beer review in that place that I was talking about. Very affordable drinks. Now, I'll be telling you a lie if I say I've been in here and I've not, but I can tell you it's really busy. Pinocchio's at night, it's busy, it's not busy just now, but later on at night it'll be busy. Steakhouses, you will not go wrong here, there's millions of them in Porto do Carmen, that's the Royal. The Coyote Bar, I think, is quite a new one, open up on the left there as well. Okay viewers, so I need to decide where am I going next, is there any more videos I can do here? What a beautiful sunset we're going to have here. A lot of music there, so I'm crossing the road viewers. How nice is it eh? Hold on viewers. Beautiful. Thanks for watching viewers, I really, really appreciate it. Um, loving it in Porto do Carmen, one of my favourite places, I've mentioned this in a lot of videos. Met the guys from Stoke, they're loving it here as well. Everybody I meet is saying they're loving it. I've not met anybody who's saying I don't like this place. Everybody is loving it. So, thanks for watching guys. Don't forget, hit the subscribe button and you'll be out. If you're new to the channel, give it a wee thumbs up. I'll see you in the next video. Guys from Stoke, give me a wee comment, let me know if you found the bar. Thanks again viewers.